A circle. They must have sent for us. Hello everybody, it's Aaron back from Screen Stars and I'm here once again to bring another review for Geek Legion of Doom and today I'm here to review something a little bit different. This is a film that's called Viking Berserker Death Fields or as it's known on the IMDB page, The Viking War and this is a film that's not due for release until uh, about May time next year and so this film is still in pre-production and uh, the channel has been allowed to see a very early review copy of this film and the the early review copy is so early um, not all the music's in there not all the sound effects are in there some narration is missing so I've had to watch this film and bear those considerations in mind while I'm reviewing this film and what is this film about well this film focuses on um, a group of Saxons who basically end up fleeing their village because these uh, Viking berserkers are invading and they're taking over village after village after village and what these berserkers do um, as you are informed at the beginning by text the one I saw but when you see the full version it'll be narrated is that these Viking berserkers are like almost like unstoppable warriors that think they're you know are completely unbeatable they swarm in, take over these villagers, and um, anybody that survives is then placed into the death fields, which basically you are put in an arena and forced to fight one of these Viking berserkers. If you live, uh, if you beat this Viking berserker, then you get to survive. Um, the trouble is, no one's ever beaten one of these Viking berserkers. So this film focuses on. Um, these particular berserkers who are taking over these villagers who are led by um, Snor I believe he's called the, Vi uh, the Viking berserker leader um, and it focuses on the, mainly this family that have been taken captive and their three children that have escaped and are trying to, trying to find their escape um, and ultimately these Viking berserkers are giving chase because they don't like to let anybody survive um, that's kind of all I want to say on the story here. It's the early uh, pre-production. It's not fully finished yet. This film, and I certainly don't want to be giving away spoilers at this point. What did I think of this film? Well, whew, this film was a little bit hard to watch, guys, in its current state. Um, I don't. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't think the addition of narration, a few sound effects here and there and a bit of additional music added in is going to improve much of the quality of this film unfortunately there's a lot wrong with this film guys um, and it's almost like I'm not sure really where to start other than the costumes almost seem like they were bought from eBay um, everybody spoke in this weird Shakespearean talk thou shalt etc um, including some of the Vikings <laughs> um, the swords that they were using for the close-ups were clearly blunt, clear to see, and for the wide shots when they're running around with swords, you could see they were wobbling about. Um, it was quite low. This is film is quite low budget, to say the least, guys. And the acting at times in this almost felt like there was a amateur dramatic society putting on a show that someone decided to film it literally felt like some weird drama class had vomited all over the film or something at times it was hard to watch um, all of this sort of stuff you can kind of forgive this isn't the first you know like um, Viking film or sword film or fantasy film whatever you want to call it this isn't the first film of this sort that isn't particularly well made the 80s were full of them however the difference between that and these is those films were fun they were meant to be boom B movies um, and you were allowed to have fun with them and they were self-aware 
this film takes itself far too seriously to to sit in that cat category of being fun doesn't allow you to have fun with it and if it had have done that i could have forgiven a lot in this film um but it, it didn't there's just too much wrong with it you know the three siblings that are running away the two sisters are stunningly gorgeous and they've got spray tans you know um, and these are three siblings and they've all got different hair colours it's like the, nobody put any thought into it um, there's a couple of scenes where some characters are stood outside a castle there's never any footage inside the castle and that's I'm presuming that's because they either couldn't afford to film inside the castle or they weren't given permission to film inside the castle and is this film worth a watch guys if you like this sort of thing yes there's something here for you to enjoy i wouldn't i don't know if this is an historically accurate film i seriously doubt it but it is quite hard to watch but this isn't the finished product yet this may well improve so i'm going to give it a four out of ten in its current state um and maybe there's some polish they can add to it before it's released in may next year that might knock that up a score or two um but i doubt it there's i think if they can change some of the editing in it the fight scenes were very very poorly edited poorly constructed and very hard to see uh, and one of those very very low impact you know when the, when they're fighting everything was just low impact and slow not slow more just slow the way they filmed it so it didn't feel like there was any impact or anything in the fight scenes either so um, this isn't really going to be a great watch guys um, but we'll see on upon its release next year so i thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time on the channel